Well hello everyone, David your friendly Harry Scotsman here once again. Um, I'm trying out a new light here now. It's a wee ring light. It's a bit weird. Um, I'll see how it works. It's, uh, I don't know if I like it or not, but the other light's playing up just now, so... I'll get, I'll get that one fixed. It's just not holding the charge right. Right, back to today. Another wee food review. I was in all day yesterday. And I found something that says I'm new. And it is Inspired Cuisine Sausage and Mashed Potato. So I thought, why not? That's what it is. There, yeah, that's what it looks like. Ooh, that light's really weird. That's not how I'm enjoying it. That's what it looks like. That way better. That's really weird lighting. Ooh, yuck. Try it that way. Yeah, you can kind of see what it looks like. Now, it says... Cooked pork sausage filled in beef casings with gravy and mashed potato. Now, the picture's got carrots and peas, but I'm thinking that there's not going to be any carrots and peas in this. You can oven cook it, or you can microwave cook it. I'll be microwave cooking it, because it's just going to take a lot less time. And apparently, an 8.50, mine's a, nine for, a 900, but 8.5 minutes, and then stand for a minute. Heat on full power for 5 minutes, peel back the lid, give it another stir, throw it back in again for another 4 minutes-ish. Right. So apparently it's got 439 calories. That's not bad, I suppose. It's 400 grams. Um, there are allergies in it, milk and wheat. It seems to be pretty much all the allergies nowadays, milk and wheat. <coughs> um, Yeah, it's frozen instructions once, do not refreeze once it's done, uh, frozen or defrosted even. Produced for all day stores. The only thing you can is recycles the film, apparently. But Tesco's have now got a bucket thing in their store which takes uh, film and soft plastics, so that's doable best before May 2023. It's not going to last that long. Quite a few carbs. Quite a lot of fat. 14% fat. Traffic lights on it. And you've got green and ambers. Which isn't too bad I suppose. You can have four of these a day. And still be left with a wee bit over for a bar of chocolate or something like that. Yeah, that's alright. So, let's get into it and see what it's like. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It's interesting. I always just like that a wee bit on it to let it do what it does instead of piercing it and then getting stuck and getting burnt and everything with it. So I'm going to pop it in the microwave and I'll be back in a flash for you guys but it'll be about nine minutes for me and I'll let you know what it's like. See you in a sec. <coughs> right so as you can hear it's still buzzing away there I've got just under three minutes to go. Uh, I've given it a quick stir around. Now it looks like it's actually got an onion gravy on it, which I don't remember seeing on the box, to be honest with you. Uh, this is with gravy and mashed potato in here. Uh, I'll try to read the ingredients. Yeah, it says there's onions in the gravy. Uh, 
nowhere on the box it says it's an onion gravy but hmm Now I've moved my light about a wee bit, so I don't know if you're actually going to even be able to see any of that. Oh, there we go. I'll scroll it along there slowly. I can't actually see my uh, camera now. Because the wee bit that folds out of the side is pretty much covered by the, the ring light. So I'm going to take them off because it makes it look like I've got big circle eyes there. Um, I'll just give it a quick stir as I say, I've got a minute and a half to go. Give it a quick stir. Uh, I like this, I have to admit, I like this spoon. Um, and it actually tastes not too bad to be honest with you. Um, but once it's all ready, we'll see exactly what it tastes like. <coughs> um, oh, got a frog in my throat there. And I'm not even having toad in the hole. So, um, if you like what I do here, and you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you hit the, the wee red button. It should be somewhere down there. I can't remember, can never remember what side it's on. Um, if you like what I do, if you hit the like button, it would be greatly appreciated as well. Um, let's YouTube know that folk are actually sort of interacting and paying attention to what I do. Um, as I say, if you like what I do, absolutely fantastic. Leave a wee comment even I'll try and get back to you. Um, I've got a few things in the pipeline that folk have actually sent me requests for um, which I will be doing quite soon hopefully but I've got a load, I've got, actually got quite a few more of these wee frozen meals. I was up in another shop the other day there, little, in fact it was yesterday again coming back from a job and I've picked up three other frozen meals so I'll give them a try coming up soon as well. What have we got? Six seconds. Four, three, two, one, ping, or beep, 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 right back in a sec. Jings, that's hot. Oh, right, I'm just going to peel this back. At the moment I can't turn the camera down because of this new light. But I'll let you see it all in a sec. I'm just going to scrape the gravy off the wrapper here, the cellophane top. Where it's all fallen in and bubbled up and all that sort of stuff. Get a quick wipe. Off, there we go. That's the wrapper off. Pop that over there to me. Now, it actually smells really quite nice. That's what it looks like. A bit like that I think. I think you can see myself there and there we go. Oh, oh sugar. I just dripped a big dud of gravy off. Right. Let's have a wee try of this. We'll try the gravy first. Let me stir around. Let's see what it tastes like. Let me drop on there. It's going to drip. There we go. Because that is red hot at the moment. Boy, that's sweet. It's caramelised onion that's in it. You can taste the sweetness of it. Try a wee bit of the potato. There's the potato. A bit bland. It's not bad though. Let's say I've had a lot worse. Let's chop off a bit of the sausages. I mean the sausages are only bad size. There's three of them there. That's the size of them. Pull that back in there like that. Try the sausage, it's covered in gravy. I feel it's going to be red hot. It is.
it's a little bit chewy. There's plenty of taste in it though. I'm kind of leave it off here. Get some of the onion gravy on it. Get some of the potato on it. Try it all together. So, there's a bit there with everything on it for you. A wee bit more gravy over the potato. As it all falls off. Alright, there we go. That's looking quite nice. It is absolutely scorching. Wow. Mm hmm. That's actually not bad. It could probably do a wee bit of brown sauce in it just to flavour it up a bit. <coughs> Which I just happen to have a wee drop of brown sauce. Let's put a wee spot in the corner. <coughs> Chop another wee bit of sausage off. I'll tell you something though, I can see this being actually quite a filling little meal. Mix that sauce in with the potato. Squidget on like so. A wee bit more gravy. As I said, the gravy is very sweet oniony. It's very caramelised onion. But that's good. It's nice. It's really good. Not bad. I have, as I say, I have tasted extremely worse than this. Just try to let it cool down a wee bit. Probably let it cool down for about two or three minutes, and not just the one that it says. Mm. That's better. The spices in the brown sauce just give it that wee extra kick. That is not bad at all. And the best bit is, I haven't even told you the price yet. This cost, I'm trying to remember. It was well under a pound, I know that. I should have actually looked it up, shouldn't I? Um, I tell you what, I'll add it on as a wee tag when I've done this. Um, that was pretty, that, this is pretty good stuff. I'm quite impressed with that actually. Um, so I'm going to toddle off just now. I'm going to go and finish this. And hopefully I will see you all again really soon. Take care of yourselves. See ya.